Hey everybody, it's Ryan here with Blue Line Optics. So today, in conjunction with the article on mill that I just did, I want to make a I want to make a, a video about mill and go through like a little PowerPoint presentation about everything I talked about in the article, but also to take a look at a rifle scope in person. So for those of you that are you know maybe a little bit newer to precision rifle shooting. You can really get a good glimpse on what mill is, uh, what you're gonna be looking at when you get out on the range, and you know how to use it to just really up your game. Uh, everybody seems to be going for that 1,000 yard mark nowadays, so that is, that, that's what we're about here at Blue Line Optics, is we just we wanna give you all the information that you need to, to get to the point where you wanna go, and to obviously just have as much fun with pre precision rifle shooting as we do. So the scope in question is the one in front of us. That's the one that we're going to be using and we're going to be taking a look at. Uh, this is the Athlon Argus BTR. It's the 6 to 24 magnification and it's got a 50 millimeter uh, lens diameter. So this one's brand new. This is actually mine. I'm going to put it on my Remington 700. Uh, and this is basically what it looks brand new. Now we're not going to do a full review on it or anything. I just want to show you what the mill looks like and then we're going to take a look at, uh, at a video that's going to go in depth, or at a PowerPoint presentation, sorry, uh, on this video that's going to go really in depth about uh, what the hash marks look like and then obviously how to use those. Because that's what really matters is being able to use this when you're out, out and about, out on the line. Here is the Argus BTR. Uh, it's a pretty sweet starter scope, honestly, if I had to recommend one uh, for anybody. Uh, like a good starter package would be like a Remington 700 or even like a 783. I, like, cause you can get a 783 308 win for like, I think it's like 320 bucks. And then this scope right here is 369.99 uh, brand new. Right, so it's a really good. It, it's really good for the uh, for the quality that you're getting. I mean, you got parallax adjustment, um, and then obviously the like, the it, well, this one's a mill, not an MOA, but um, but again, this isn't going to be a, a review or anything. So we'll just kind of stick to what we're dealing with. You can check out the review though on the on the product page that we got because we do sell these. Uh, we sell all Athlon products, so. As you'll see, this right here is the elevation adjustment. And as you can see, one click is one tenth of a mil. And this reticle in particular comes in uh, comes in five mil hash mark increments. So you'd have to do this five times to move it up one uh, to, to, to move it up one hash mark. And that hash mark is what you're using to align with the target or wherever it is that you're wanting to see. And then this is the windage adjustment. So R stands for right, and you'd move this like this to go to the right, to the left, okay? And what we're doing is we're moving the reticle on the inside of the scope. And, and it, you, can, you can't really see it too well. I mean, we can get it. Yeah, I guess you can. So if you see those hash marks in there, That, that, that's what you're lining up. Uh, you're lining those up on the target, and then you're going to be adjusting your barrel accordingly so that it hits, or so, so that, that the barrel, the bullet leaves the barrel at the right angle in order to hit the target where you want to hit it. That's, a, that's all you're really doing when it comes to long range shooting. And the, the rifle scope is what helps you do that. And the click values are how you get that hash mark to line up to the point to where it's supposed to be. So let's take a look at that PowerPoint presentation. And we're gonna go a little bit more in depth into the reticle itself, but I wanted you to see the rifle scope body um, and to also just make it, uh, to just show you kind of how that works a little bit. Um, got to check out the scope, which was awesome. That's the Argus BTR fantastic rifle scope especially for beginners just because it's so like modestly priced and yet has just great features on it i mean it, it's not 100 perfect obviously because it's a 370 dollars scope but 
it still has features on it that you're going to see on things that are like twelve hundred dollars uh in most cases which is something that athlon does very well so um but yeah enough about that one let, let let's talk about milliradians again so mil is short for milliradians and all that means is just one one thousandth of a radian because this is the metric that this is the metric measurement of angular distances or of angular measurements i mean and we use angular measurements when we're talking about rifle scopes in long range shooting because the barrel is moving angularly it's not moving like in a linear fashion from left to right and up and down no it's making an angle when it does that so mil and moa help us translate this into like an actual linear distance so when you're looking at a target and you need to adjust your scope to the left linearly like three inches or something like that uh your barrel is going to need to move in an angular fashion so mil and moa but the focus of this is mil mil lets us know hey you have to move it this many mil to the left and that'll translate into so many radians moving for the barrel then you can take the shot and and hit the target however you need to okay and the best way to describe angular measurements is that if you hold two laser pointers together like if you're touching the the butts of the laser pointers and you point them away from each other now that's going to form an angle and that that'll have the the far as you move the two pointers away from each other they're going to increase in angular distance because they're going to be making an angle but the farther out that your linear distance between those two lines gets the bigger your linear distance gets so and this is this might be getting a little little too far down the line because there there are more equations and stuff like that that go into this into this theory but uh or not theory but practice um the further out you get down the line the the longer those distance are distances are and that's what we're going to be using in order to know how many mils equals how many feet or how many inches or how many meters or whatever it is now i mentioned earlier that miller radians is one one thousandth of a radian so it, as you can see from the diagram here and if you're uh if you're maybe missing this you don't worry you can take it the, the article is going to have all this laid out for you as well um the die as the diagram here says so the angle c is going to be one radian when the distance b is equal to the distance a so whatever angle that that makes you, you take in, in a is the radius of this circle okay so a is the radius of the circle and you take that distance and you apply it on the edge of the circle and go as far up as you can to where it hits to, to where to where it just runs out of distance now if you drew a line from there back down to a that resulting angle is one radian and one one thousandth of that is a milliradian okay so this takes us back to to geometry in ninth grade i don't know if you remember that far back but uh that that essentially that, that that's that's all that a radian is and it gets the name radian because it comes from radius because a is the radius of the circle now like i mentioned before one mil is one one thousandth of any distance okay any distance so at a thousand yards one mil is one yard at a thousand meters one mil is one meter at a thousand miles one mil is one mile okay you're start you, are you starting to get it i hope so uh that's what makes mil honestly the default choice of a lot of people especially in precision rifle shooting um a lot of hunters prefer moa just because they prefer moa and honestly it's it's up to you like it doesn't really matter which one you use both of them can get the job done moa is slightly more precise than mil uh the reasons why are a little bit more out of the scope of this uh, of this uh presentation and out of this article um but mil is so much easier to just do the math in your head because literally all you have to do is move three decimal places uh from the distance to target that you're dealing with like if you have a 
300 yards to target and you want to know how much one mil is, you just move that decimal place three, uh, three, three spaces. And so it's 0.3 yards to uh, that, that equals one mil. Now, um, we use mil to calculate distance to target. And you'll forgive me on this, on this, I have in meters, that should say in yards, because we're going to be dealing with yards on here, right? Okay. Um, we, we use mil to calculate the, uh, the distance to target. And that's important because, as you can see from this diagram over here, when a bullet leaves the barrel, it's not going directly to the target like it does it doesn't go in a straight line and that's because it, like gravity takes over on the bullet as soon as it leaves the barrel it takes it takes over immediately and you can't stop it uh not to mention you're going to be dealing with wind too but for this example we're not we're, we're not really going to get too in depth with wind yet because it's a little bit more complicated but and you want to let this sink in uh the but what, what you want to know is that the bullet is flying in like an angular fashion and we need to know how far down range that is so we can make that adjustment on the reticle okay and so there's a there, there's just a brief formula here to do that so the distance of the target in yards is equal to the height of the target in yards times 1000 okay so do height of the target in yards times a thousand then divide that by how many mils that target is reading on the reticle and let's we'll, we'll take a look at an example of that in just a second because this will continue on. And here's an example of a mill reticle. So this is from the scope that we saw earlier in the video. Uh, this is the Argus BTR 6 to 24 magnification. And each one of these, th this is zoomed all the way into 24, and this is at uh, at, at the default setting of six. Um, and this is really that this is exactly what you'll be looking at when you go in when you look down the scope or into the scope uh at these particular magnifications so this is a really good example right so each one of these hash marks is 0.5 mil and then each one of these long ones here is one mil because you see you go to two four six on and up um and the Argus BTR itself has a 0.1 mil click value. And by click, I mean exactly that. Every time you move the dial, the turret, I mean, so it'll be the elevation turret or the windage turret. Every time you move one of those, it makes a click. And every single time you hear one of those clicks, it goes to 0.1 mil. Okay. And And uh, in order to get to one of these hash marks here, you'll have to click five times. And to get to one of these, you'll have to click 10 times. So that's all good, but we need to know how to use this in like a real life setting. Okay, so say you know that your target is three feet tall. This is just a basic example, and we're going to do it in yards because a lot of people like yards. Even though mil is the metric equivalent of the uh, of angular measurements, you, you we're, we're, a lot of people just prefer yards because you know we live in the United States. Our preferred unit of measurement is inches and yards and all that stuff. So this is a three foot target or one yard, and on this scope or on this uh, reticle it goes up to two mil, right? So, it, well, if you hold it, if you hold the bottom of it at the zero mark, the top of it goes to two mil. And we know that that's a three foot target. So if we put that into our formula, height of the target in yards, which is one times a thousand equals 1000. <laughs> And you divide that by two, which is the mills reading on the reticle, you get 500 yards. So you know now that that's 500 yards to, to the to the target. Then you go into your ballistics, uh, your ballistics chart, which you can download on the site if you want. 
and you use that to uh, uh, you you it, you use that to see what kind of ammo you're using and what the bullet drop is going to be for the for that particular ammo that you're using and you use that to make the adjustment that you need to make on the reticle so that's all i have for mill i hope this was really helpful for you if you got any questions leave them in the comments below uh leave them on the website send me an email give me a phone call i don't care you can uh like if i miss something if you're still stuck on something uh if you got things that I can improve on, whatever works. I uh, would love to hear from you. So thanks. Have a good one.